On this week's episode, I'm going to show you how to use Euchromic Dye. Before we get started, let's run through all these items that we need. So the first thing you need is a pot. Now you need to make sure it's big enough that it can hold 2 quarts of water, or about 1.9 litres, and also 1 pound of cotton, or about half a kilo. You'll need a way of heating up the water. I'm just going to use one of these portable camp stoves because I'm in my workshop, but you can quite easily go in the kitchen and use your stove. I've got a large bucket so I can pre-soak the cotton and of course rinse it off when it's finished. You'll also need some iodized salt, some tongs and some water. And last but not least, the Heuchromic dye. Now this one's available from a company called Solar Color Dust. If you haven't checked them out already, I'll leave a link to their website at the top of the description. They make all kinds of cool products and this is their purple to blue chromic dye. The first thing we need to do is get our pot and put in 2 quarts of water. Now turn the stove on and put it on a low heat. A low heat is around 85 Celsius or 185 Fahrenheit, but if you don't have a thermometer on hand, just make sure your stove is on the lowest setting. Now that we have that on a low setting, I'm going to go ahead and dissolve one tablespoon of salt. While we're waiting for that to heat up, we're going to pre-soak our cotton in some hot water. Now it's time to add our dye, and it's probably a good idea to put on some rubber gloves. Make sure you shake your bottle well and add the whole two ounces to your two quarts of water. Now just give it a light stir to make sure it's mixed all the way through. Now we can take our fabric out of the pre-soak, wring it out to get all the water out and then pop it in the pot. Now grab your kitchen tongs and just make sure it's fully submerged. As you can see my pot isn't quite deep enough, this is the only one I had available to me. So what I need to do now is cook this for the next 20 to 30 minutes and stir occasionally. But because my pot is a bit undersized, I'm actually going to rotate the fabric around a little bit as well. That way it all gets coated evenly. Now that our cooking is nearly complete, it's time to get the next stage ready, which is our ice bath. So the idea behind the ice bath is that once we finish cooking, we're going to take it out of that pot and dunk it straight into here. You'll see it change colour immediately and then we're going to let it soak for 5 minutes and what that does is it sets the dye. Once this is finished soaking, I'm going to wring it out and then go rinse it under cold water. Just be careful that you don't over rinse it. Now that I've given it a light rinse, it's time for it to dry. Now if you're going to put it in the clothes dryer, make sure you don't add any other clothes with it. And if you're going to air dry it, make sure you don't put it in the sun. Now I'm just going to put this on a coat hanger and hang it up in my workshop. Since I have some dye left over and another shirt, I want to try something that I've always wanted to do since I was a kid, and that's make a tie-dye shirt. So I've got myself some rubber bands, I'm going to tie up this shirt and dunk it in the dye. I can't remember if I mentioned this previously, but if you are using a camp stove like this one, make sure you have adequate ventilation. I've got my big roller door up and my main door open, and I've also got my fan on.
As you can see with this one, my pot definitely isn't big enough, so I'm just going to rotate it every few minutes. Now that your fabric's completely dry, there's one final step, and that is to go put it in the washing machine on a cold wash. That way, all the dye has been washed out. Okay, here's the time. Are you ready to see this in action? Whoa, how nice is the purple? And check this out. We're going blue. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's have some fun with the hair dryer. You know what I reckon these dyes would be good for? Imagine doing your gym clothes. You rock up to the gym and you're all purple. Next minute you hop on the treadmill, start working up a sweat, and you turn blue. Now are you guys ready to see the tie-dye version? I'm not very good at it. I think I need more practice. But you get the idea, it still looks pretty cool. I really like the sky blue colour. Well that's all for this week's episode, I know it was a little different, I've been wanting to try this dye for a long time, don't forget if you want to try it for yourself, it's from Solar Colour Dust, I'll leave a link at the top of the description, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.